And I think really just to say, Cherie Buckner Webb Park. Pretty impressive. Boise's newest park has now officially been named and dedicated and opened. Named after one of its most well-known politicians. About an hour ago, the city dedicated the new downtown park to Cherie Buckner Webb, you just saw. 11 years ago, she became the first black woman elected to the Idaho legislature. And today, the city is celebrating that and pretty much everything else that has to do with her legacy and her family's legacy. Five generations they've been here in Idaho and what they've all done for the city by naming this park after her. They kicked off the celebration, uh, as you can see there, with a ribbon cutting. And this park, by the way, if you haven't seen it, on the corner of Bannock and 11th in downtown Boise. That pink tree should tell you you're in the right spot with the swings on it. And yep, people are enjoying them right now as the festivities are still going on for this evening. You still have time to head down. There's music, food, pop-up performances, live art exhibits, all of that taking place. And all of that is expected to last until about nine o'clock tonight. So you still have plenty of time to get down there and enjoy a lot of people doing just that. Cherie, Senator Cherie Buckner Webb has been a longtime community leader for the state's largest city and a fierce advocate for civil rights. But it came at a cost because you may remember while she was growing up in Boise, she had a cross burned in her front yard because of the work her family did as civil rights activists. The family now been in Idaho. This would be seven generations. Her granddaughter there at her dedication today. And they still continue with that work that, well, her family began generations ago. Buckner Webb worked to create the Black History Museum the museum her son Philip Thompson is very active about in and also he's active in the community and handles these same issues. He runs that museum. That museum sits in the historic St. Paul Baptist Church. It's a place her grandfather, Cherie's great grandfather once owned and ran, but her most noticeable achievement happened as we mentioned back in 2010 when she was elected to serve in Idaho's state legislature. We talked to her yesterday about what all this meant to her and she got emotional about it saying she was overwhelmed with joy. It's a powerful interview that you can watch for the first time or again, if you'd like, right now at KTVB.com.